Hey everyone, welcome back to Razorback Rundown. For this week, I'm super excited to have Bailey Lovett here with me today. Thanks so much, Jen. I'm so excited to be here. Of course. All right, so the Gym Backs went to SECs this past weekend. We finished sixth. Overall, a good meet, so let's get into the meet recap. So the Gym Backs started on the floor this week, and our top two scores of this event were Maddie Jones and Sarah Schaefer. They both went up and went 9 8 7 5. Yeah, it's so awesome to see these freshmen stepping up and scoring so big in our lineups when it counts. And then also Sarah, last year out here, she really coming through for us. Yeah, it was overall really fun to watch them go out there, especially on podium. It was just a really exciting rotation. We then went to the vault rotation and had three scores of a 9.85, all sticking their vaults. We had Sav, Amanda, and Leah all go up and just do huge vaults. Yeah, they're finally really showing those landings they do in practice. It's so exciting to see a stuck vault after another stuck vault and then another stuck vault. Like, it is so hype. Yeah, and you can really feel the energy in the gymnastics, too. And after that, we had Sarah go up and go 9.875, and she also stuck her vault cold blind landing, and she just nails it every time. Yeah, it's amazing. I don't know how she does it, but she's really the vault queen. Yeah. We then went to bars, and our two top scores from this rotation were Maggie and Kennedy, and they both went up and went 9.85. Yeah, they are such a powerhouse duo at the end of that lineup. We just know they're really going to bring it home for us. So We then finished the meet off on B. We had our anchor go up, Amanda, and get the highest score of the day on beam, and it was a 9.875. Yeah, not exactly the strongest finish we wanted, but we learned a lot, and now we're ready to go to regionals and just attack the balance beam and show everyone who we really are over there. Yeah, I think this week was a good meet to look at. I think we really found those areas where we needed to improve and dial in, and we've been doing that this week in the gym, so I'm excited to see what we do out there on the floor at regionals. Okay, Bay. so now we're going to touch on our favorite part of the meet that wasn't gymnastics related. So for me personally, I think my favorite part of just the overall trip was our debate. Usually we do a team challenge at dinner, and this week we did a debate, and there was a certain topic we had to do, and it was just really fun, and it really brought out so many personalities, and just a lot of laughs the night before the meet, and it was a really good bonding game, and just had a lot of fun with it. Yeah, I think my favorite part was probably our bus ride to the meet. We got to hook up to the aux cord on the bus, so we had all the speakers going, and everybody was just yelling, screaming, dancing. It was super fun just to get loose. Yeah, our team has a lot of fun with the bus and music. We love dancing, so that was a good way to hype us up for the meet. All right, so now we're going to get into some questions for Bailey. So... Tell me what was the ultimate deciding factor when you decided that you were going to stay for your fifth year? Yeah, so really, I feel like this is the first time in my whole career that I've been healthy. And so I finally am able to just, like, do the gymnastics that I love to do. And, like, my body is on board with me doing it. So I just know I have so much more to give to this team. And I'm not ready to be done yet, so. Well, that's so exciting. We're so happy you're staying. Is there anything you're thinking about adding in for next year that would be different from this year now that you're more healthy than you have been in the past? Yeah, I'm definitely going to play with some new floor passes and just see what comes from that. And I'm also really looking forward to hopefully competing bars again next year. I just started swinging some bars recently, so really excited to hopefully break back into that lineup next year. So with that, what are your plans for school now that you're going to be here? Yes, so I just got accepted into law school here at the University of Arkansas. That's incredible. So my plan is to start my law school journey while also doing gymnastics. And it took a lot of thought for me to like figure out if that was worth it, if it was going to be possible. But ultimately, I decided like no challenge is too big. And I want to be that first person to do something hard like this. And I want to inspire other people to realize like, you can do whatever school you want and also take advantage of your athletic eligibility. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, that also makes sense onto why you just got the SEC Scholar Athlete of the Year. You're amazing in the classroom and in the gym, so that all makes sense, and I'm excited to see you do that. Thank you. So when you go out on that floor, you shine out there. You do an incredible tumbling, incredible dance. What is your character, and how do you embody it when you're out there? Yeah, so actually I love my character this year, and it's so funny that it's I'm Tinkerbell and I'm like fighting Captain Hook throughout my routine and 
fun fact, Tinkerbell is like my all-time favorite Disney movie, Disney princess. So super exciting when Fish came to me and she was like, your character is going to be Tinkerbell. And I was like, no way. <laughs> but I think it's so fun to like have a story to tell and it just really, it helps me go out there and just like have fun and be myself. Yeah. And you definitely go out there and you have your little part where you do like the Toro yep, and this. the little pieces of Tinkerbell and it's so fun to watch. Thank you so much, Bay, for being here today and just talking to us a little bit. Of course, thanks for having me. So now you guys can catch the Gymbacks next Thursday when we go to the Norman Regional to fight for our spot at Nationals. Yeah, and it will be broadcasted on ESPN Plus at 7 p.m. <laughs> so make sure you tune in and watch the Gymbacks. That's all we have for you today, so we'll see you next week on more Razorback Rundown.